All right, the broadcast is live. Everybody, welcome to another episode of the Drink and Draws Social Comic Book Happy Hour. It's, it's uh, we're, we're still workshopping that. Um, <clears throat> today we have uh, the classics. We have Dan Pan Ocean. Ooh, the classics. Yeah, Dave wow. Johnson and Joe Casada. That's a and, classic. <laughs> he's still pretty classic. With and we're going to do our recreations of the. Uh, the spinner rack art. You guys know what that is? You guys remember spinner racks? Look at there that. Go. Remember these? Sure you do. Yeah. This is how this is how geezers used to get their comics. This one's a little boring. This one I probably was not a big seller. Wait, that's all what I'm doing. Just <laughs> He's just doing typography. Great. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at this fun one though. That's a good one. Yeah, but it's a little DC centric, though. Don't you think that's a little? Uh... Well, that one's specifically DC. Yeah, and look at that. Who's? Oh, uh, which one do you have? God, I ha I have the uh, I have this one. Nice. Um, yeah, that's the one I'm most familiar with. I like uh, I like Batman's crotch. That's kind of fun. You like the glare? Yeah. You're a glare guy. Look, see, it's very close to my head. Makes me uncomfortable. I'll move that. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Better? So, Dan, what do you, what recreation are you doing? Let's see your art. Um. You know what I'm going to do? I'll do a little camera camera shift, and then we can see it. Um, I'm doing a kind of a Joe Kubert Tarzan here. I'm taking a deep dive into Kubert. Excellent. He was uh, he was good. He was pretty good. He's talented. He did the best. That was one of the first comics I read, read as a kid. One of those the giant sized uh, Tarzan, and there was another giant sized. Batman, and you can see I have a giant size Batman near my um, comic rack. Nice. That's so if these, good uh, if these turn out pretty good, should we uh, put them up for sale? Sure. I mean, not. <laughs> the hell? Yeah, it's better, it's better than donating them. Yeah. So, uh, Dave, what do you got going on? Uh, I've got the classic thing like you're doing. Uh, well, you'll see in a minute, but uh, – yeah, I got Batman, uh, Moonbeam from Little Abner, Captain America, and it will be a Peanuts character. Very it's cool. Penis so, character, what? Penis, penis character. Penis character. And I've got, uh, I'm also doing the old school one, and this is Sakura, Batman, Bone, and Iron Man. That, that should please everybody on the planet. If I'd you like to sell comics on a spinner rack, that would be a great modern spinner rack. That would be a very good modern spinner rack. Have everyone, all the sort of genres are, well, not all of them, a portion of them, 10% of them. Let's, let's say that. All right, so we guys ready to do some drawing? What, uh, what's everyone drinking tonight? Ooh, that's a great question. Yeah. I'm drinking some Silencio. It's mezcal. Mm. Delish. Um, uh, I'm drinking life tonight. Drinking life? Life, yeah. Drink deep, my friend. I'm high on life. Excellent. Joe, what about you? What do you got? Aside from Mucinex, I'm uh, <laughs> taking some Afrin. Oh, God. And some some water. That's gangster. Uh, oh, I'm sweating for, yeah, I just, I just need to apologize to everybody out there if I'm not very demonstrative. I, I've got a serious nasal virus thing, and I'm actually, uh, I can't hear anything out of my right side so That's i'm not ignoring good. you like i usually do i just i just really can't hear you right this time now. it's not personal oh we'll just no. talk on the left side of our, our mics there you go yeah. Yeah. You know. so by the way you guys didn't mention the elephant not in the room ben is somebody did to join us tonight ted did he goes ben why aren't you on the screen well guess what there's no more ben <laughs> no ben's just not night <laughs> We all miss no, Ben. Yeah, There's Ben is attending to loved ones right now. And Jones, Jones, none ben of us figured, <laughs> ben has, figured out, has figured out what none of us has figured out yet, which is this is a complete and utter waste of our time. But you know, Well, what? yeah, he's figured out the magic uh, excuse not to be on the show. Yeah, I'm not coming. <laughs> yeah, I got other things. I got other things to do. So, Joe, it looks like your studio is coming together. Little by little, it's, st it's still a bit of a mess, you know, so, um, but, you know, I've got, I've got a, I got a room full of boxes and books on the other side. I got more shelving coming. I got stuff I got to hang up and stuff. 
and I got to figure out how to get air circulating in here because I'm either feverish or there's just no air circulating in here. Um, uh, or maybe it's just Dave. He makes me hot. You know, could be that. Yeah. Well, well, it's, it's, I know it's always that. It's called the Johnson phenomenon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do have, I do have something for you guys. I figured, you know, uh, give me a second while I think something out. Yeah, that's what we have here. Yeah. All right. So, as I was moving stuff, yeah, you might want to pull the camera in for this. Maybe you right. know this. So, so you know, I have a, I have a beautiful copy of Daredevil number one. You know, I saved all my allowance for this one, and I, I haven't. It's been on a shelf for years, and I had moved it until I moved into the new studio. And then, as I moved it, I looked at the back of it, and I couldn't stop laughing because on the back is your book. <laughs> oh. Or Look at that. That guy's wow. that. that is a fantastic. It's He's perfect. looking for people, <laughs> looking for people who like to draw. That's us. That That's exactly us. us. That is us. You know, we will draw. Um, and it says Albert Dorn, probably the greatest money maker in the history of commercial art yeah. at the height of his career. He began a full time search for people who like to draw. Why would he and do that? Because he wanted to brag and show off his, his uh, he, he he you know he wanted a generation of artists like him and he did not feel threatened by the competition. So clearly, he doesn't uh, feel threatened by anyone with a mug like that. Yeah. No, stare down Jesus. The man, the man was a rock star, and also I think Dan, you and I discussed this. Um, Greg Hildebrandt was just fantastic. Genius. Uh, he really and, was. And I, I think the one takeaway, aside from the fact that he's just a brilliant artist, the one takeaway for me, and I think maybe all of you guys felt the same thing, is like after he talked about his career, we only got a smidgen of his career, realized we're doing it all wrong, guys. We're, we're doing not, we're it not all living. wrong. <laughs> yeah. What was that? We're not living him like he did. No. No, I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I mean, this is a guy from I mean, Greg looks young for his age, but I mean, he's you know he's he's from that generation of classic rock star illustrators. We are yeah. not living, man. We are just we are just we're slaving away. We're not you know we're he's slaving away too, but you know he's living it. Yeah. What do you think we can do to change that, Joe? Like what? Nothing. There's oh, zero, nothing. Jeff. It's not the There's right zero. answer. <laughs> Jeff, no, you're looking no, for answers. Just, There's no just, answers. And, oh. Unless unless you could start painting like Greg Hildebrand at the pace that Greg Hildebrand paints. That's never There's gonna happen. That's never gonna happen. Oh, and also, well. be charming, handsome. God, I'm striking thing. out left and right. Yeah, the coolest you're guy on the happen. planet. I am seriously all, all wrong. God, if I wasn't depressed enough. <laughs> yeah, way to bring it. Way to bring it down, Joe. Um, There's nowhere to go but up, Dan. We're already well, at the true. bottom. <laughs> that's true. You know. You know which, which which house are you in right now? Like how many how many houses do you got? <laughs> how many houses do I have? No, Joe. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I think I think it's more uh, me and Jeff aren't living uh, to our potential. I think. No, but but guys, I mean, I'm I'm not saying you know it's not, it's not even about money. It's just like I mean, the most had experiences. He's done everything. You know, I, you know, he was in the military and he was a filmmaker, documentarian. I mean, he. Works for the Trans Siberian Orchestra. He, you know, he's that, you know, and and he's just ridiculously humble. And the only way you learn these stories is if you poke at him and say, "Greg, tell me that story." You know, what was that thing? Was, what, did, what did he do with Marlon Brando? Did he have a tickle fest with him, or what, what was going on? No, <laughs> tickle fest, a war water pistol fight. Yeah, exactly. I mean, God. Yeah. Let me ask you: Have you guys had water pistol fights with anybody? No. You know, as an adult? No. No. Man, that's a very good question. Yeah. I have a little bit of water play with Jeff. Uh, yeah, we got that on video though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that's mood. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's not the same thing. That was for reference. It was all for reference. Yeah. Well, you're right, Joe. We gotta live more. That yeah. should be our takeaway from that. I'm gonna take up gambling. What? No, Jeff. Jeff, I think you're you're missing the whole <laughs> Is it wrong? I'm just going to start with gambling. What, what's right. well, I mean, something. I mean, 
Yeah. But, you know, if you're going to do gambling, you got to lose and you got to get into debt. So at least you end up with a good story. I don't think that's going right? to be a problem. Because if, if you win at gambling, all right. Okay. So what's the story? What should be my game? I think I'll try craps. That seems pretty simple. You know, you know who's actually good, all kidding aside, is Dave is kind of a master. Um, what's that? What's the one you like, Dave? What, what are you always playing? Oh, roulette. I've watched him uh, at roulette. It's very frustrating. I could see Dave like with like in his suit in the tux at the roulette table. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Just like no, you, want to the, shit. you want to know the key? You go if you're feeling lucky. You bet heavy, quick. And then and if you win, then you walk away. Yeah. What does feeling lucky feel like, though? Yeah, what does that feel like, Dave? How do you know? Like, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever felt lucky. I hear, Dave, remember, remember that one piece of advice you used to give about knowing when to hold them? And I always forget. Knowing when to hold them, knowing when to fold them or something like that. Hey, that's a copyrighted term I came up with. Um, oh. <laughs> you know, yeah. Know that, that would make a great song. Well, Dave's got a million of them. Right? Oh, I don't know what feeling lucky is. I know, Jeff. You've never. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like heaven. Um, what's this guy? I wasn't expecting Sick Joe to be so fiery and passionate. About Greg Hildebrand? Yeah. Is no, no, just about life in general. Yeah. It brings it out in people. Yeah. Yeah. So, Dan, where'd you get your spinner rack anyway? My wife got it for me as a. Um, like a wedding gift. Where did she find it? Where does one find spinner racks? The best way to find them is on eBay. You steal them from comic book shops? Yeah. Yeah, but now don't they, they make a uh, repo? Well, now, I mean, comic book shops are going out of business left and right, Dave. You know that. The whole industry, yeah. It's done. The whole industry is done. Dunsies. Yeah. So there, it's getting easier and easier to do that. Do they still make? Do they make new spinner racks, or are they all antiques? Oh, Jeff! <laughs> oh, I wish they did. No, wait. Wasn't somebody making some some like the yeah. recreations? Yeah, uh, Dan. Uh, so, ha 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 yourself. Thank you, oh. Joe. I thought it was. Um, uh, uh, I can't remember. Used to run um, the convention uh, up in uh, Portland, not uh, Seattle. Um, Oh, Jim DeMonico's? Yeah, DeMonico's. Yeah. DeMonico's was That's good. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jim was making stuff like that, yeah. Jim was pretty crafty. Jim's a good guy. You say a lot of things about Jim, and a lot of people do. but mm -hmm. um, All the time, like right now. Yeah, it be a lot of people talk about him. Right. But, um, <sighs> was, was I being crafty? fiery? I didn't realize I was being fiery. It could You're be being the medication. passionate, Joe. Passionate. It could be the medication is taking... Uh, I'm on some loopy shit, man. I have not been this sick um, in at least 20 years. You got the coronavirus. Maybe we should. Uh, Was that? I, I wish I had the corona. I shouldn't say that in light, but it's it's it. You know, it's uh, you know, I'm a little bit better than I was a few weeks ago, and I don't want to complain about this crap. But holy mackerel, I wouldn't I wouldn't wish this on Frank. Oh God, you're you're in some pain. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Because yeah, a lot of people bad. would wish stuff on Frank. Well, the, the hearing thing has got the hearing thing has got me really concerned because it's just like you know, on Sunday something went wonky and and uh, I'm hoping it's just an infection and maybe when it goes away it goes you know it goes away. But not though. Um, too much information. I know. So um, I'm gonna go see a specialist. Hopefully tomorrow. No, 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 hopefully tomorrow. Got definitely tomorrow. Don't sound like anybody up for a question. What was that? I'm sorry. Uh, like ben, everybody's talking at the same time. I can't hear Dave. Sorry. Can you ask each artist what single issue they are most proud of? 100% buying if I don't already own them. That's a good question. That is a good mm. question. Dan, you want to go first? Um, Probably my first issue of slots I, I really liked. Um, Probably I'm most proud of just because it's, you know, I wrote it and and drew it, so... Uh, that's a good issue. It's Thank a great you. book, man. It's a great book. Yeah, I had to go buy it. Everything else. I had to go buy it, right? Because Dylan wouldn't give me a copy. <laughs> uh, I think my first issue, Away the Rat. I think that was the best one. I'm most proud of that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was the most 
you know, I did the most design work and created the most um, complete world. You sure about that? That one? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everything else is sucky. <laughs> Oh, how about Dave Johnson? Oh man, uh, probably super. I mean, uh, uh, Red Sun. Well, oh, kill surprise. Who wrote that? Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Didn't want to feed Mark's ego. <sighs> um. So Dan, what comics do you have in your spinner rack? Wow, you I guys skip right over me. Skip right over me. Look at that. That was brutal. Oh, Joe. Joe Casada. Sorry. No, now forget it. Forget it. No, no. <laughs> no I'm sorry. I, I felt sorry. like we were asking you too many questions. Joe, what was your favorite book? No, no. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm keeping it to myself. Sorry. Okay. Maybe next week. If you guys are wow. Me. Come back next week. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, well done, Jeff. Now I'm yeah. actually really curious. No, it was you, Dan. Dan, you just, you just, you do this to me all the time. You just, just ignore me. Um, no, I, I, for me, it was um, single issue. It was the issue of X Factor I did. It was it 87, 89? I don't remember the issue number. Peter David, where they all went to therapy. But I think my, my favorite prod, the one that meant the most to me was Daredevil Father. That was uh, probably the most personal thing I've done. So. I remember the therapy issue. That was a great issue. Thank you. Yeah. Peter wrote a hell of a script. It was, it was uh, you know. So, is that one of your favorite writers to work with, Joe? I, you know, Peter was one of the what I mean. I, one of the things that I consciously did when I when I when I broke in and and, and could call a sh could call a shot, you know, sort of say, hey, this is what I want to do, um, was that I set out to to try to work with the best writers in the industry at that time, um, because I I just wanted to work on good stories, and hopefully that reflected on everything else that I did. Um, and Peter, you know, when I was given the opportunity to work on one of the X-Men books, um, I asked for X-Factor, which was actually the, the the low book on the totem pole in terms of sales. But I really enjoyed reading the book. So um, it was fun working with Peter. Um, but I've worked with a lot of, you know, really fortunate. I worked with a lot of great writers uh, in my career. So. Um, Who's your favorite character on that book? I can oh, guess. Man. Can I guess? On um, what? Go ahead. On um, on the uh, I would say who's is big guy. Um, big guy was fun to draw, but but in that particular issue, the character became my favorite was Quicksilver. Yeah, because his, of, because of uh, you know his his rant about standing behind, you know he's the fastest guy on planet and he's got to stand behind people like an ATM and what that feels like to be the fastest guy on planet when you're waiting for somebody who's really slow at the ATM. Um, yeah, that's the that's the predict that's the scene I remember the most is that yeah. that conversation. Yeah, and you know Peter and Peter was really generous with that issue because um, I got to uh, you know it, it was if I remember correctly it was written Marvel style and like a lot of the stuff like like I told Peter hey can I give each one of these because it was it was a difficult issue in the sense that um, you know it all takes place in the same room right it's just a different character telling their sort of, you know, getting into their idiosyncrasies and neuroses and whatever. So I asked Peter if I could give each one of them uh, something to do, a prop or whatever. Uh, and that's what we did, you know? So we discussed it and, you know, which character should have what, and then Quicksilver ends up with that jigsaw puzzle he's built at the same time, and as he's talking, it's that picture of a snail, which of course, you know, duh, uh, reflects what he was talking about. So it was fun. Yeah, that was a good run. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, it was a fun time. Um, Dan, how's your guys? Place? Guys, I'll be right back. I got to blow my nose. Oh, All right, come right back though. Yeah. Dan, let, let's see your drawing. Let's see it. Yeah, let me see how, how you're doing. Dan, that's coming out great. Let me see if I can up the uh, resolution here. There we go. He's really uh, swinging around there. Uh, yeah, Cub that's very Cuberty. Yeah. Was Cubert one of the guys that you uh, studied a lot when you were younger? Or did you move on to? I did. Uh, I studied. I studied quite a bit of the um, 
because he would do these little drawing things. Like he'd go, here's how, here's how to draw. Here's how to draw Tarzan. Um, and my dad didn't want me to be a comic book artist. I mean, he loved comics, but he was like, no, nah, the life of an artist, no, anything but art. It's funny because your dad was a professional artist. Exactly. It's weird. It's almost like he knew. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see what Dave is up to here. Dave Johnson, that is. Whoa. Dave's quick draw McGraw. Damn, that's a good looking Batman. Oh, he's always got to show me up. Yeah. He's like, you want to draw Batman? Yeah. Let me show you how to draw Batman. Your kids. What can Dave Johnson not do? Damn it. <laughs> so talented. And handsome. And, and, and handsome. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, a lot of people always forget handsome in there for some reason. Yeah. yeah. Weird that they forget that one. And so yet, I have no fans, uh, you know, on this broadcast that talk about it, you know, like Ben. No, well, Ben's a special breed. He's, he's like the... Uh, He's like this, you know, the the Jupiter, you know, just, just sucking up all the compliments. Well, it's funny, you know. I mean, people say, "Oh, Robert De Niro's handsome," or, or "This guy's handsome," but he, they're not like Brad Pitt handsome. And Ben, we have kind of our own Brad Pitt. I don't know, man. I mean, I mean, you know, I think the difference between Ben and Dave, of course, is that you know, Dave doesn't put it on. Dave's just natural, you know what I mean? And you can tell that Ben works. You know, he works real hard. Oh yeah, well, Brad, Ben that. loves it. You know. He, Dave's just like, you know, Dave gets out of bed and look, he's, he's Dave licious. It's true. <laughs> do you, do you, really how much do you think Ben spends on product? Oh, God, tons. I mean, that's where the secret's at, is the ointments. Is yeah, it, ben has, Ben's known for his ointments. Is it more yeah. than Gary's uh, product on his hair? A little bit more, not much. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think we're, I, I have to say we're kind of into it this time. What do you mean, drawing wise? Yeah, yeah, it's happening. Well, this is we're really doing it. Broadcast, you know, it's about comics. Yeah, it is about comics. We, comics. we always do better without Ben. God, we do. Yeah. So yeah, we're just stuck with him, though. I feel, I feel like something's missing. Every time we don't have Ben, the art seems to like take a big leap, though. Yeah. And we and we, uh, we we talk to the fans more. Speaking of which, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Got oh, look at this! I got some hots too. Take that, Dave Johnson. Mm. Jeff, oh, and no, Jeff and I get no. Jeff and I get no hots. No, no just not. No. You know. Here's a question for Dave Johnson, though. Oh shit, Dave, do you ever design tattoos? Uh, I have. It's it's not fun though. I mean, you know, what do you mean it's not fun? Well, if you want to talk about pressure? I mean, we're talking about yeah. somebody on somebody's skin for life. You know. Have you have you guys seen? Yeah, but Dave, your, I'm sorry. Have you guys seen your artwork tattooed on people? Like they go up to they come up to you at a convention and say, "Hey, look what I did." I, I have your art times. And you know the the worst part about it is that I, I, I there's a very rare occasion when I don't see the piece like that. And I'm like. Oh my God! I wish you told. I would have told you to do a better. You know, to do to take a different piece of artwork. It's just like it's always something <laughs> right. that I hate. Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, I would have drawn that better if I knew you were gonna do. Oh man, I feel guilty. Oh, believe me. Or worse, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like I, I wish they'd gotten a better tattoo. Or, you know. Yeah, that's it. I, I've seen some pretty spectacular work um, from some people. I imagine there's a lot of red sun, but what, what do you what, what do you see a lot of, Joe? Um, I see a lot of daredevils, a lot of daredevils on the cross, which is which is it's cool. But I mean, again, I, I you know, I look at that and I'm like, oh man, I wish I'd drawn that. I wish I'd drawn that today. You know, it just wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, yeah, it's a different time, different artists, just yeah. artistic skills at that time. You know, um, but I've seen some really great great tattoos of that. I mean, they, they rendered the hell out of it. I mean, it's just like, wow. Um, uh, but yeah, I seen a lot of daredevils, uh, trying to think, I've seen a few Ash tattoos. That's uh, good. I, <laughs> I have a friend of mine, a guy I know, uh, who was uh, working on, like, you know, he was working on a sleeve and getting his entire back, like, like the whole Yakuza thing. And, I love that. 
you know, we, we were relatively new friends. And then I was introduced to him from another mutual friend, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, Is this and then like, like, no, no, it's like the way he's, he's just, he's not even in the industry. He's just a, you know, he's a fan friend kind of thing. And, uh, and then I see him, um, when, when I go to his town, he's like, dude, 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 hang on, hang on, check this out. And he pulls up his shirt and the entire left side, I think, of his back, I mean, the entire thing from like the shoulder blade down is just one massive ash tattoo. Wow. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was nice. It was flattering. And I'm sitting there going, oh man, years from now, you know, I hope we remain friends because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because he only did it because we were friends, you know. Uh, that, that's my feeling. He said it, it was really cool and really flattery, but I'm sitting there going, "Oh man!" Plus, I'm I'm not a big tattoo guy. Like like I've had people ask me to design tattoos, and I, I just I won't do it because I just I, I know I'm gonna hate it on somebody and then just feel crappy that they, you know, that I did a crappy job on their tattoo. I had a a, a woman uh, a fan that I've become friends with, and she asked mm. me to uh, design her whole sleeve. And she wanted a robot arm. I mean, like, you know, like oh, a wow. created robot arm. Robot arm. Yeah. Thankfully, I talked her out of it because I just thought that was, like, terrible and, you know. That would have been cool. But uh, I designed more of a graphic, uh, I don't know, it was, it was more, like, just a graphic than, than trying yeah. to illustrate a robot arm. And it turned out way better. I remember that thing. It did come out pretty cool. Oh, you know what? I have to take it back. I did. I did design a tattoo for somebody. Kind of. Um, I had a fan who um, who liked this drawing of Captain Marvel that I that I did. But she was standing in a group shot, um, and so he he was wondering if I could draw the piece of her that was behind. I think Captain America. And as it turns out. You know, I do those group shots digitally and I did it on layers. So I, I actually, you know, I draw through. So um, so I was able to, to, to give him that and then um, uh, and then actually finished off like sort of the bottom portion of the legs and stuff. And that tattoo actually came out really nice. You know, I did it. Um, that was, I think that's the only time that I've, I've actually really designed any or, or did kind of a, a, a tattoo. Um, how, about, how about you, Jeff? Have you ever, uh, anybody have like Wonder Man tattoos or? I've seen people have sent me pictures of it, um, the occasional Wonder Man tattoo, but I've never seen one in, in person. Do you guys have tattoos? Uh, I don't. No, I do not. Dave? I'm, well, I don't. I don't know. Can you tell? I mean, see Dave's tattoo. Let's do a little. Get that giant sleeve. God, look at that. It's cool. oh, yeah. See, that's gangster. Yeah. Nice. Now, who designed that for you, Dave? Did you do it yourself? No, I knew if I did it myself, I would hate it. Um, yeah. So I went with a, a guy who does a traditional Japanese style. Uh, nice. He was actually Korean, but you know, he was a really good artist. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Turned out pretty good. I want that take it. You're ever like, why? Why did I do that? No, no, no regrets. But see, it just it just adds to Dave's handsomeness. It's crazy. True. And this is kind of dangerous. I always felt like but, I, but you know he's not again he's not trying he's just he's just is Dave just is yeah I did it for me yeah. not for anybody else uh, did you let him just do whatever he did you talk about it first or did he just start going yeah we talked about it um, it was it was a little weird because when I showed up he had uh, drawn out he had drawn out the fish that on my arm and uh, he uh, drew out these peaches and. You know, I, I grew up in Georgia, and I'm not a big fan of peaches. And plus, I, I think they look like butts, you know? Um, and I wanted more, you know, it's not really a traditional Japanese mm -hmm. subject. And uh, I talked And by the way, you want to talk about pressure? This guy's doing a tattoo for you, right? I don't yeah. think he gave a shit about that, believe me. Um, no? Yeah. He, he was pretty uh, confident in his, uh, you know. Yeah, okay. He's a lot stuff. better than Dave is what we're trying to say. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, mainly that's how, it, that's how it came about. So it was like, I forgot how many sessions it was seven or eight sessions. How did you handle the pain? Yeah, because uh, Dave, you, you have a very low threshold. 
most of the pain is easy, uh, except for the softest parts of the arm, like your uh, inside of your elbow. It's interesting because that's the strongest part of mine. <laughs> All right, we'll put that to the test someday, Dan. <laughs> That'll be great. I can't yeah. wait to see that. Um, I've never had a tattoo. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably, probably, I would probably start crying. If you were to get a tattoo, Dan, what would it be? Would it be like your kid's name? Uh, it'd be my wife's name because I know immediately there would be a divorce afterwards. And uh, <laughs> in case you forgot it, is it? No, usually anytime you know you get your your wife's name, that's like the kiss of death, isn't it? Right, so you're um, avoiding that, or you have that schedule? No, I don't want to do that one because oh, okay. that would be. When I get that done, we'll know that the relationship's done. Gotcha. Oh, hello. Those are her calling. She has a sixth sense. She knows yeah. when I've been naughty. And actually, she knows when I've been nice. She's got the same Santa Claus book. That's good. She's got the Santa Claus gene. Joe, if you were going to get a tattoo, what would it be of? Oh, man. You know, I, the reason I don't have a tattoo is because I can't think of anything that I won't hate years down the road. Um, <laughs> totally. You know, that, that's the thing. But, but you know, if, if, you know, if I had a flash of midlife crisis and, and, this, and decided that I wanted to get a tattoo, it would probably be my daughter's name. Almost oh. 100% certain that's the only thing I could see getting tattooed that, that I know, okay, all right, I'll be cool with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Until she pisses me off, in which case, you know. Well, that's, that's where Dr. Tadoff. That's what? Dr. Tadoff. What's that? That's an L.A. thing for people that want to remove their tattoos. Oh, I is that, see. Is that the laser thing? Yeah, you just get it taken off. Yeah. Isn't that supposed to hurt more than the actual tattoo? Yep. Oof. You know, you got it coming. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, there's I get, there's a, like how badly you really want that off. Yeah. There's a show on MTV where uh, two people get to choose the other person's tattoos, and it's usually people that don't seem to like each other. Oh, and, God. Man. Oh, that's a good one. Let me sign up for that show. Yeah. Oh. Cool. I'm going to give Dave bad, a whole bunch of you need to be, That's seriously like a how bad do you need to be on freaking TV show? How much do I hate myself? You get yeah. pretty much. I oh. actually do. Yeah. So, Dave, it would be, be peaches for you, right? That would be the worst thing? Well, not the worst thing, but you know, if I'm paying for it, I want you know what I want. You know, not what. I, I can think of worse things for Dave. To get <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to say it on the stream, but I, I can tell. Uh, yeah, peaches seem pretty tame. Yeah, I think they would take peaches over over the thing I'm thinking. <laughs> <Go through. laughs> um, so, Joe, what are you drawing? Is are you doing the? I'm trying. I'm trying to catch up to you guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I've, I've been in, I've been in bed a lot today, so. Uh, I'm just just started with the graphics and now I'm just trying to sketch out some stuff and hopefully it'll look decent enough that I can show a little bit of it. But right now I'm too embarrassed. All One right. of the viewers wants to see that area you've been sleeping. Who was that? One of the viewers wants to see the area you were sleeping in. Um, unfortunately, um, no. No, no cameras. No cameras. <laughs> no. Keep a level of privacy. You know that. That's, That's why you've never been. You've never been allowed to be. I've never room. actually. I've been in your home, but I've never been in your bedroom. Yeah, yeah. And I've you've always tried. asked. You've tried. Yeah. Now every single time I come over, I'm like, "May I?" And then you go, "No." Yeah. That's the right response. No. Sorry, Dan. No. What was that, Dan? Who's that? That's Elena. Oh. Oh God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? <laughs> What's going on here? A lot, a lot of people are busy. It's terrifying. Um, so when you guys used to go to like go and see a spinner rack, let's just say in Seven Eleven. Yeah. What uh, what books like what you, what was the the book you got from the spinner rack that you remember? I remember Dan. I got one of my favorite. My oldest comics was at a flea market, but I remember one of my very first comics I got out of the spinner rack uh -huh. was an old Legion of superheroes. Huh. And you never knew from, from month to month what book was going to be in there. It was always that was the great adventure. thing about, about back then, too. Um, my, I think I, I saw the, my very first Frank Miller work. Are we doing a back-in-the-day thing? Because, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here if that's what we're doing. Seriously, I'm just out of here. 
Wait, but uh, we're doing the classics. What were the things you're... Just make sure. All right. I used to go, I was, I'm a lot younger than a lot of you guys, so I used to see a lot of Dave Johnson artwork in there, and that's why I became friends with him. What? I was never in the spinner. I'm not that old. Yeah, I don't even know if I've ever been in the spinner rack. Have you ever been in the spinner? I have been in the spinner. But that's a that's a carny thing. Yeah, I guess you can call it that if you want. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with it, but Whoa, what was that? That was me. Um people are enjoying the lettering here. It's old school. Yeah. Now, our lettering is as sweet as it is. Probably not not nearly, you know, real professional lettering, sadly. Uh, no, no, but it's still I fun mean, to watch. Yeah. Dad's you have your favorite letterer. Fun. I think Dad's yeah. my favorite letterer. <laughs> You're the only one with the font. I have a font. Joe, do you have a font? I don't have a font, no. You have a font. I didn't know you really made it. Oh, That's man. Know you I have a font. Can you design a font for me? Dan, can you design a font for me and I can just say it's mine? <laughs> Dan, your is font it? is for purchase, right? People can buy it? Mine? Yeah. Oh, what man. You, tell people what it is. Yeah, it's called Urban Barbarian Go Figure. Man, you must be you must be rolling it. Um, I've made a fortune off that. That's that's my second house. Right, that's where the money's at. Fonts. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's Dan's the secret. Got a, Dan's got a font. Can I can I tattoo that font myself? That's actually one of the most proud things I have. I like I have. I love that font. It's a good font. Yeah. Do you guys remember? I know this is old school, but do you guys remember Richard Dean and his yeah. lettering? Yeah. So, yeah, you mean Roger, Roger Dean? Roger Dean. Roger yeah. Dean. Yeah. For those yes covers. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I tried to emulate that guy's lettering for years. Um, actually, I had an old guitar case where I, I painted the entire outside of the guitar case in that, in like his funky kind of. It's almost graffiti, but it wasn't. It was it was like graffiti mixed with Art Nouveau, and you know. And he did, he did all those all that marbleized coloring, right? Where he would he would put mix watercolors with um, with oil paints, yeah. And then you get all that marble effect and stuff. Yeah, and his use of light and shadow in the letters was always super cool. Yeah, yeah, no, he was he was good. Yeah, he's yeah, pro. I think actually, uh, what's his head? Um, Greg referenced him uh, last show. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, Greg definitely. I wasn't, had I wasn't listening. Yeah. No, you were you were, was, we were was, not to listen to you. Your mic was uh, oh man, it was stole by Jeff Johnson there or something. Yeah, yeah, I was I Jeff Johnson out. You totally Johnson did. You JJ yeah. it. I JJ it. Yeah, without doubt. Uh, but what are you gonna do? So Jeff, you're you're home alone basically, right? I am home alone. My wife uh, is away for a week, so it's just me up to shenanigans. Now, when you say shenanigans. What do you really let's get specific? Do? Yeah, let's get well, specific. Well, I mean, I'll be drawing, and then um, I'll be sleeping, and for excitement, I might rent a kung fu movie. Wow. Yeah, it's big doings. <laughs> it's big doings over here. So no wonder she has no problem leaving you to your own devices. She always knows exactly where I am and what I'm doing, and it's never trouble. Well, you sh you you should take that ankle thing off. <laughs> well, I can't get it. St it shocks me every time I try, right. Joe. <laughs> is it is it like one of those um, uh, those dog electric fences? Yeah, I mean, and the I mean, voltage like, like, is really high. When you yeah, visit your house, house, it just like it shocks the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> well, plus they have a nanny cam, so she's yeah. watching him right now. Yeah, it's kind of like a very pleasant gulag. Yeah, you have your cat, so what do you yeah, care? Lots of animals. You got a cat? I got a cat and I have two dogs. Um, my what cat, kind of dogs? I have a pit bull and I have a Basinji mix. 
Um, I don't know what that means. Is that a real I word? I don't know what that is. You make that up. The Sinji is a, a like it's like a little fox. Ooh. Dan, did you get your pomerian? Uh, it's probably going to happen. <laughs> that is the manliest of dogs. Uh, that's I'll be, be that so guy awesome. walking that dog in the neighborhood. That's going to be so awesome. Yeah, I cannot wait. Yeah. That's going to be. It's going to be. Um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. They swear yeah. they're going to take care of it, and I'm not going to have to do no, a thing. No, it's going to be you. It's Are gonna you going to name it Fluffy? It'll have some Greek name in the yeah, back. I was gonna say, you're gonna name it something Greek, man. Elena's gonna make it Greek. Everything in my life is Greek. Did you know I got kicked out of Greek school? Huh. When I got married, when I got married, I told Elena, I said, Well, I'll learn Greek for you. And then I went to the, the Greek church that she has and they kicked me out of Greek school. Hmm. What did you do? What did you do? Yeah, exactly. I just treated it like I treated any school I was ever in. And I was right. trying to entertain the troops and uh Mm. Teacher asked you, her, I don't come were back. You, were you making Greek jokes? Is that what happened then? I didn't make Greek jokes. I was making jokes. And um, it just happened to be. I didn't read the room. Mm. Were you yeah. on the history of that? Didn't the nuns hate you? Yeah, the nuns in my. Uh, I went to Catholic high school and they weren't too fond of me. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't one convinced you were Satan? Yeah, I came back years later with a, uh, a priest. <laughs> And uh, I just, I'll never forget that. She was like, you don't get it. He's making fun of you. He's evil. He's the devil. Wow. <laughs> that cracks me up. Yeah. You don't spend a lot of time in church anywhere. I'm assuming no, that. they kick me out of that, too. Yeah. <laughs> Word gets around, Joe. Yeah. Was that? Yeah. Word gets around. I think I'm, I'm done. To each other. I think I'm done, boys. Damn. That was fast. Oh, wow, that uh, looks amazing. You know what you can do, Dan, is uh, do a Kirk Douglas. No, I can do a Kirk Douglas. That's right. You have plenty of time. Yeah. I hear he's dead. Yeah, he passed away. He's the room. Actually, I hear he's very dead. Not just dead. Like, extremely dead. A long life. Great life. 103, man. You guys want to live to 103? No. no. I'm not sure I'll no. make it to 51. Yeah. The joke, Dan, is I'm already 51. Oh, that's a joke. Yeah, that's, you get it? No, I don't. Dave, that is a good looking drawing. You did. I am literally moving it like snail space. I like your classic uh, Charlie there. The Charlie Brown is awesome. It's very toyetic. It is a little toyetic. You can make a toy out of that. Or is it toy metric? Uh, toy yeah, toy metric is measuring things by toys, right? With your toys, yes, you measure yeah. you measure things with your toys. So then, my my penis would be two GI Joes long. Yeah. Well, depending on the, depending on the manufacturer. Right. right depending well, on which well, it also, yeah, it, depending is it an old GI Joe or you know? Like, Does it have the kung fu? Grip? Back in the day when it was a full, you know. Yeah, if you're if you're two GI Joes long on a on a seventies GI Joe, then Jesus, you need to see a doctor. You're in the wrong business. Or, or you're in the wrong business. <laughs> you're totally in the wrong business. I need to give up comics. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you took a deep dive into comics a long time ago. I did the deepest. I'm trying to use a lot of a lot of Hollywood phrasing, Joe. I don't know if you picked up on it. What was that? Trying to use a lot of Hollywood phrasing, like deep dive and yeah. poetic. Is that, is that to help you sell stuff in Hollywood? Or are you trying to? I don't trying really to think even out sell of the box? I guess I could sell what's, spots. Um, what's the elevator pitch on your on your uh, on this whole you talking Hollywood thing? You know, the elevator, the elevator pitch, pitch is me saying the word deep dive again and again and again, uh -huh. um, and then and then occasionally throwing in toyetic. Toyetic, yeah, yeah. And, 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 no uh, matter what, no matter what's being said. Mm -hmm. Is it working? I haven't tried it because I haven't been in too many uh, large buildings with too many. So I've been in a lot of one-story buildings, so my yeah. pitching is not up to par. Hmm. Let's see how it's looking here. He's working on it. Look at that. Looking good. It's awesome. Look We're going to show us all up, Dan. Thanks. 
that's the whole point of this stream. Really? I was, I mean, I was already feeling, myself. I was already really feeling crappy. Thank God for the medication to keep me happy. And, uh, and now I got to look at your drawing and, you know, just have to hate you. What about, what about Dave? That Dave, I always hate. Yeah. But me, it's, it's not an always thing. Well, you know, I don't always look at what you're doing. That's why. <laughs> It's true. A lot of times you don't pay attention, and I think it's on no. purpose. I'll call you usually later after the show, and I go, "Did you see what I draw? I drew." And well, you always post what you draw because you need that gratification. You know, I need I need instant gratification. Yeah, it is the best kind. I like to wait for you guys. Kind. I wait for you guys to post all your stuff, and then I I'm, I'm the last one in. So, well, then you're then people are primed and ready, and then you're in there, and you're like, okay. Yeah, amateur I especially do that with my, with my weaker shit. The weaker oh, shit. You're like, amateur hours over. This is. Uh, yeah, there you go. I whip it out. You know, it's like it's, it's like awesome. Jeff whipping out his, his two G.I. Joes. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you got to take them out carefully or someone's going to get something in the eye. Yeah. This is, this is, mine is a redesign if we we're going back in time, I guess. Mine is not going to probably get the attention of um, the new comic book. Artists here at Ari. You get our attention, Dan. That's all that matters. Right. It's all that who, matters. Uh, who put out those racks anyway? What company did that? What Jeff, what, what is this? Is this a Wikipedia page? <laughs> I'm asking. Someone might know. Maybe the fans out there. Like who who was doing oh. that? Because it, it it wasn't Marvel or DC. I'm guessing it was put out by the um it had to be put the out by the, uh, Will, the Willowbrook uh steel and uh and playing company from uh from Intercourse, Pennsylvania. Intercourse, Pennsylvania. It's a real place. You know, it's like it's a real place. Sounds like something Dave would visit. Oh, maybe he's gone. Not the place Dave was born. No, Plenty of peaches there. Oh. You're really not doing well, are you, Joe? Huh? You're really not doing well. Yeah, shows you, you know, unlike Ben, yeah. I'm here. No excuses. None. There's no excuses. And there's no crying and drinking and drawing. There's no excuses. There shouldn't be. There seems to be a lot, though. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of it. If you could change one thing about drink and draw, what would it be? Change. Is that you asking or a fan? That's it makes just a difference. Me. It's just oh, me. Okay. For yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone will get a real answer. I, I, Dan I, is I, I think, I'd change, I think I, I'd change your attitude, Dan, because it really sucks. I would change the roster. Like the yeah. 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 Can we start with I, me? No, I try to get. I, what I try to do is get my friends involved. You know. I see. Then I could have a little bit more fun. More fun, yeah. yeah. All right. I might color this thing. I think I'm going to color it. You have time. I, have a while. Do, let's see. I could do some drinking right now, too. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, so I, I drink. Uh, I'm literally drink sweating in my own, my own sweat. As Jimmy and I used to like to say, we're, 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 we're drawing in our own ajus. We worked in a lot of hot offices. Dan, what was the hottest studio you ever worked in, like temperature-wise, no air conditioning? I'm st I ask you this because you know you lived in Florida, so I bet you there was that was the sweating on comic book pages. But I have to say, the hottest was probably New York City, sweating, sweat yeah. dripping on yeah. the comic book pages as I'm as I'm inking in um in the Bowery. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those those you know those uh, those nights in in places where you can't afford air conditioning. Yeah, and, then, and just like and just like sitting there going. It, it couldn't possibly. It, the fan's blowing, and it's just blowing hot air, <laughs> and, and the humidity's at like a thousand percent. Uh, <laughs> it just this is insanity. The and the pages are curly. You know, the pages yeah, that's are like, like curly. That's uh, definitely the worst. Is when the pages bend on you. Yeah. Uh, just to give people an idea of what we're doing. That. Yeah. That's it. You need to refresh the audience. And then let's say you were a huge DC fan. 
And you might be. You might be. They're out there. Mm -hmm. there. That's a good rack. It's a solid rack. This one, probably not the best designed, but it gets the idea across. You know, what if the person designed that was is a fan of our show? Like uh, older than Kirk Douglas? Not necessarily. He could have been he could have been sixteen when he designed that. Here's what I like about the design on this one. There's not a whole lot of stuff type you know type wise you're putting on it, but the spacing below wholesome and comics. Mm-hmm. They couldn't have just lifted the comics thing up a little. It's oh, yeah. yeah. It's as bad as the uh, the market. Let me let me ask you a question, right? Uh-oh. You're you're an eight year old kid. You see that sign. Is there any doubt? First of all, do you say to yourself, "Oh man, look at that spacing," right? No, you never if say you that. Do, if you you would, no, you never say that. You're right. Never, right? You're right. So you walk in, you walk into the comic shop. And you see that. You know exactly what's there. You know exactly what it is. It does you want wholesome comics at that age. Well, your parents, that's for your parents. That's not for you. And look at this. You, All you, of them have this little... Um, you're hoping it doesn't say wholesome comics. Yeah. Approved by the comics code. Very important. And by the way, look at how crappy that uh, that graphic is. I mean, <laughs> if you zoom in on that, I mean, it's it's awful. It yeah. liter- it, you know, it's literally cut and paste, and they didn't bother, like, no. trimming it. Or, it's just awful. Yeah. What I like is the size of Spider-Man is almost Ant-Man sized. Like, he's just... The size of a spider. Yeah, and what's that red spot right, right under uh, right under Spidey's shoulder? A little cleanup, maybe would have, would have helped. I think. I, I think Superman needs a few more defining lines on his face, and a bigger drop shadow under his jaw. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, but that's just me. I'm a little picky. You are you are incredibly picky. That's why nobody likes you in the art community, because every day my Twitter following goes down about one hundred. Does it really? No. Mm-hmm. So and then they start scared. me back up again. Oh. I think it's all. Yeah. I think it's all a scam. Yeah, they start me back up again at you know like fifteen, and then they drop me back down. I think it's all day by a day. scam for our self esteem. See a Dave Johnson thing. Anybody interested in seeing what Dave's doing? I know What's I am. Dude? Holy man! Well, Dave, you redid the actual comics part and made it better. No. No, no, no. It was great. It never looked that good. Which, what, what, what template were you using? I just found it on the internet. It had a uh, Shazam. It had all the Shazam characters on it. Really? That's a great yeah. looking. That's a that's, great looking type typeface. Yeah. That's an updated one. That's an updated typeface. That's a classic updated typeface. Let's take a look at Mr. Jeff John. Whoa! Yeah. You and I are using the What's same one. Good? Yes. Ours is old school. Dave's I space. think someone's going to want to pick that one up, Jeff. I think you're going to have some inquiries. I like drawing Batman. Batman came out pretty good. Do you guys remember Bone? Mm, Jeff, Bone. Jeff Smith? Like Bone, right? Yeah. I'm just going to focus on Joe because I... I boned your Bone at Trebek. What was that? <laughs> good one, Dave. There's me. Hi, everyone. Let me take me. What did I miss? David's a little classic comedy. Yeah. Little calls I missed. Oh, is that what I miss? Yeah. Awesome. All right. I might show you guys a little bit of what I'm drawing in a second. I just, I just got to tighten a few things up here. Tighten it up. Yeah. yeah tighten it up. Tighten it up. So what did you guys do today besides, uh, I don't know. I had a little bit of a giggle. I actually, imagine, I actually imagine what you guys do during the day. I have no, no insight into that. Uh, today? I, uh, I, I drew a cover. I don't know if I, I don't know if Marvel is in the habit of letting you see it 100%. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't recommend you do that. Yeah. I, I inked a cover I drew. Yeah. Dave, what would you do today? Took a nap. Oh boy. <laughs> Got some food. Nice. And I'm going bowling later. Bowling. You're going bowling? I'm going bowling, man. That's what, What's all, your the, that's what all the cool kids do now. They go bowling. 
know that. Wait a minute. A quick question, Dave, and I don't mean to ruin things for you. Um, is that supposed to be Wonder Woman? No. Well, who, who's the girl? It's a chick from uh, Little Abner. Her name's uh, Moonbeam. See, that's how old school I'm going. I, I, I outdid your old school. Yeah. That is pretty old school. I really thought I could shame you right there and I'd go, where's her headband? But one st- Dave's always one step ahead. You know, yeah, is- I mean, Wonder Woman always wears or uh, has a corn cup pipe sticking out of her mouth. You know, the problem with her as a character is, is that she has no, you know, she has no real sort of uh, defining iconography. So yeah, she, she's kind of like just, uh, you know, it's pretty brunette. Like- but if well, you know well, the lab there, you know exactly who it is. I went with yep. what you went with. Yes, sir. All right. Um, Three Alarm Comics was wondering if, Jeff, you could bring that one to Pensacola with you. So I can't. It. Hmm? Yes. Wow. All right, here's a question for me. Dan, what do you prefer to use when you color? Markers, watercolor? I'd say watercolor. I'm not so good with the uh, Copics like everybody. Is it Copics or Copics? I don't know. No one's ever... I actually don't know. I just, not, not I'll take a deep dead. dive into the... Uh, I guess probably the only one who knows is Adam Hughes. He probably has a pretty good idea for sure. I hope he doesn't ever pay for him. I hope they just send it to him. He has generated a lot of other artists using them. Yeah, he should just have a lifetime supply. All the oil, you know, he should never even have. They should never even send him the refills. They should just send him brand new ones each time, so he doesn't have to sit there and bother and take it apart. Right, a little thing there. Well, gentlemen, I'm afraid I have to get going because whoa, 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 right. what? Jeff, so, you usually use that excuse, and it's, you get, it's like date night with Megan. No, no, Megan's There's out of town. No excuse. Tonight is the uh, the actual drink and draw at my little local bookstore. So you have a like, real drink and draw, not this bullshit. Well, this is a virtual one. This is real. I love it. It's fantastic. But I have actual beers waiting for me um, at this other drink and draw, so I'm going to get going. You, you have a hard out. I have, I have a hard out. I got I got I to roll. You're using a lot of terminology today. I, I really, I'm glad you're doing it. It's very um, toy metric, and uh, I'm and and you did a deep dive, and maybe you could put a pin in it. You put a pin in it. You know, sometimes I go if if I'm really like like we're talking about, it and I want to get back to it quickly. Yeah. A pin's a little bit brutal. I go, let's put some scotch tape on that, and just yeah. kind of we don't have to press super hard either. That's the new hotness for sure. A little scotch tape in that, and then we'll come back, and then we'll peel it off. We'll peel it off enough so that it doesn't like take any of the paper with it. Yeah, that's that's what all the kids are saying. So I'm going to... Hang on, so Jeff, before Jeff goes, hang on, I want to show my screen. Yeah. Hold on, Jeff. Do you care about... You know, Joe's been here too the whole time. I know, I'm oh, waiting. He's, he's going he's gonna to care. He's going to care. Hang on, let's see here. Are you going to take that with you to um, to your drink and draw and finish it there? Mm. I am, yes. Are you going to... Oh, oh lucky Joe, you, you show yeah. off. <sighs> okay. Sorry, Jeff. It's gonna take me a second. I gotta put my settings. So if you gotta go, go. Yeah, I can, Jeff, I can, I can wait. God, I hate Dave's thing. Hmm? Damn it! What are you so doing? irritating. <laughs> Man, that's good. Look how good that yeah. is. And I, I don't even mind like old school Snoopy. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a. With authority, no less. Just Damn, it looks good. Did you see that, Jeff? You missed the glasses coming down. I heard Damn. it. I saw it. Whoa. Oh, man, just throwing shit around. God, it's wild there at, at uh, Casa de Johnson. It's like a man's house. You, those, you know, you you have a little bit of a reprieve. You're living by yourself right now. Dave is all day, every day, all Dave. I don't That's know if I can Lives on his own terms. I really don't think I could cope. Nope, you couldn't. I mean, I, I've known you for a long time. I'm going to say you couldn't. I can barely cope as it is. Cope or copic? Get it? That's a little. That's a little. Like if you're a comedian, that'd be a callback, Dave. That will be a call. We'll, we'll call it back tomorrow, uh, next week. All right. Well, 
Joe, you can't clearly you can't yeah, show I'm, us. I'm, your... I'm trying to set set my privacy settings, and I can't even find Google Chrome here, which is weird. Uh, that was weird. Uh, All right. Hmm. Jeff, my apologies. Oh no, I'm happy. Wait. It's always worth it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this sucks. Let's see. This is a good Yep. That's it. Yep. Giving up. I, I, I'm, try, I'm trying to allow Google Chrome to have access to my screen, but Google Chrome isn't even showing up as an option. Just, clearly, I'm doing something wrong here. So, all right. You know what, Dan? I'll, I'll email you a quick JPEG of work in progress. Okay. And you can. Uh, you can That's some problem it. solving right there. Yeah. Damn. What is happening at your house? There's coyotes. That is my wild little son and my even wilder wife howling. Mm. So we live out, there's a lot of coyotes out here. Even though I'm about six minutes from sunset, coyotes are here all the time. <laughs> what do you think about that, boys? I'm scared. It's very scary. It is scary. Uh, All right, Jeff. Okay, there we go. Hasta la bye bye. Wait, did Joe send you the thing? I'm sending you now. Directly to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Dan, should I text it to you or, or email it to you? Email it to me, because then I could I could pop it on the screen here. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I haven't gotten the bugs out of the computer yet. What's your last name again, Dan? Um, I can't even pronounce it. Yeah. Honestly. Uh, oh, here you are. Okay. All right. I'm not going to send it to the one where I send you the sexy pictures. That's the private thing. Oh, no. Yeah. You know, I have yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. We're in that one's Facebook group. Where we it's just work in progress. I was hoping to get more of it done. <clears throat> Did you do an old school deep dive? Me? Yeah. I guess you could call it that. All right. Let's see here. So it came my way. I'm, I'm gonna this got two more characters. Let me send you my, my Yahoo. No, I sent it to your your other one when you gave it. account. Mm-hmm. All right, it's coming in. It's a big file. Yeah. Like I said, I have two more characters to do on it, so I apologize. Okay. Positioning is still tentative until it balances out. Oh, here it is. Goodness. Wow. This is going to be great. You know yeah. what? You guys have a lot of negative things to say about Joe often. Yeah, I listen to it. I don't like what I hear. Um, now you guys are gonna feel a little bad. Yeah. Um, Jesus, how long is this taking, Dad? Well, look, you couldn't even get your computer to work. So. <laughs> yeah, but my computer's rebuilt. It's all you know. Everything's gotta be reconfigured. Maybe I didn't download it properly. Save as. Nope, it's in there. Hmm. Um, See, so who, who made the comment? Joe looks like my grandfather programming a VCR and uh, <laughs> seems to be having trouble himself right now, just like posting a JPEG for crying out loud. Yeah. All right. There it is. <laughs> John oh. Pierbaum. Pure bomb said, How big is the file? Three GI Joes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's toyetic uh, with you guys. That's toy metric. That's, that's, yes, that's, that's toy metric. Thank Sorry. you. That was wonderful. Yeah. All right, look at that. Uh, oh. 
Hey, 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 ladies, comics. Hey, is that the edge? Yeah, that's the edge. <laughs> I couldn't find a photo of Jess. I just used a photo of the edge. Nice. So I got to wow. finish the other two clowns. So, sorry. so much. And look at that's a re- like. What if they had Joe doing the approved? That I've never seen the Comics Code Authority look so good. Hmm. I don't know where Man. you got. That's amazing. That's awesome. That was yeah. worth the wait. Totally. All right. Now I got to work on Dan and Ben. I have a beautiful shot at Ben. You got to put yourself in there. Ah, I'm not part of the original crew, so it's. Uh, uh, it doesn't, doesn't you think Ben is? Himself. We've been trying to get rid of Ben for years. Well, now you tell me. <laughs> tonight, <laughs> tonight we had a, we probably had a little bit of a win. Right. We should know. No. no clue. Uh, All right, guys. Nice. Man, That's it. Jeremy, I got to say Jeremy. bye. Bye, Jeff. I Bye, will see, I will see you guys next week. Have a fun rest of the show. All right. You take care. We're going to sign off, too, everybody. It was nice having you. Peace um, out. Are we done? Is that it? We're done? I think that's it. When Jeff goes, uh, uh, the, oh, shoot. Yeah. Look at that. Jeff, with just when he's out, he's out. Okay. Uh, okay. That was nice. Thanks, thanks, Joe. I'm glad you sent that yeah. over. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'll eventually figure this out. So I just haven't really, as I've been, been in bed most of the week, so I haven't had a really chance to sit down. And I'm just happy I got sound and picture. Mm-hmm. Um, so. No, it worked out good. Now, next week. All right, so what do you want to really say about Jeff? Now that, he's, now that Jeff's gone, what do you really want to say about him? Well, I was going to say that with Jeff gone, we can we can talk about Bob Fingerman because he's our guest next week, and Jeff and Bob don't really get along so well. He's he's probably going to conveniently be um, – like pulling a, a band to fail and not be there. Why? Why wouldn't he get along with Bob Fingerman? He's jealous of the Mad Magazine work and his yeah, creator own yeah. comics. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever met Bob, but but we went to the same college. Uh-huh. Um, he's a Queens boy like me. Yeah. So so it's just it's interesting that uh, maybe our I mean I, I got a terrible memory, so maybe our past did cross, and I'm you know. You know what? Next week we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We're gonna gonna find out. out. You know what? I think before next week I'm just gonna because you know he lives here in the city, so I'm just gonna seek him out and we're gonna become best friends before before this starts and then we'll be way ahead of you guys. And you'll feel left out because we'll we'll have this buddy thing going on. You guys will have a real thing going. Yeah. Well he yeah, he's really talented, you know what I mean? So it's like um, he may not not want to deal with people like me. What's that? My son is coming in. Let's do it. Deep dive into my family. Awesome. You want to come over here? And see everybody? Yeah. You want to see everybody? You want to say hi to Dave Johnson and Joe? Hi, Dave Johnson and Joe. Dave, look at Dave. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, can you, sh- can you show Joe. me how, you're, how you punch your dad? You show me? You want to, he says punch me. You want to punch me? Ow. Oh, there you go. A little lower. <laughs> Where's Dave? Dave drew this thing. You want to see what Dave drew? Mm-hmm. Whoa! Look at that. Who's that? Is that Batman? Apparently, that's Wonder Woman without her um, headband. Captain America, Charlie Brown, and Woodstock. <laughs> Woodstock is that? That see that thing that looks like it could have been a dog? That's actually a bird, honey. Man, you're gonna get it, Dan. That's a birdie. That's, da- that's how Dave draws birds. Everybody's allowed to express themselves however they want when you draw. That's the beautiful thing about drawing. Yeah. Yeah. What Dave more than most. Let me see. He's made out of pumpkins. And he's an old-time winner. He is. He wow. makes happy butter with his sword. Oh my gosh! It's kind of like Dave and his sword. So, all right, everybody. Toodaloo, as they say. All right, go be dad. dad. Yeah, we're going to say goodbye to everybody. Say bye, bye everybody. Dad. Bye. Say Dave, toodaloo. Go be dad. Dave, go bowling. I love you guys. Bowling. Dave has to go bowling. Mm-hmm. Why? Right. I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. Dave, Joe's going to go to bed. Joe has a cold. And Dave has... Oh, uh, uh, no. It's worse than a cold. How did he get a cold? He didn't wear his jacket when he went out to, mm. uh, outside. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Shake hands with the wrong people. Oh, you know what? He doesn't wash his hands enough. Yeah. Got to wash your hands. Got to. Say goodbye to Dave's strange drawing. Bye, Dave. Say Dave. Bye, Dave. See you. <laughs> <laughs>